Hey, I'm Jenna Ryan, and today on the Intern Hustles YouTube channel, I am sharing some of my best internship advice. These are some of the things that I wish I knew before I started my first internship in college. And if you're new here, hit that red button below to subscribe. I release a new video to this channel every Monday to help you out on your internship journey. Hey there, I'm Jenna Ryan from the internhustle.com, and this is Initiative Muscle Monday, helping you to start each week with an intentional step toward a successful future. Let's do this. So I completed my first internship the summer between my freshman and sophomore year of college. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I recommend gathering as much experience as you can, as early as you can. But because I started as early as I did, there were some things that I didn't prepare for as well as I could have before my first internship. And like anything in life, I did learn from those first experiences, and I improved for my second, third, and fourth internships. But I wanna help you just hit your first internship out of the park. So here is some of my best internship advice from me to you, eight things that I wish I knew before my first internship. Number one, check eligibility to earn school credit for your internship. Will your school provide credit for your internship that you can then apply towards earning your degree? I failed to do this before my first internship and I later found out that my first few internship experiences did not count towards my graduation requirements. So if you're hoping to earn credits for your internship, make sure that you understand the specific requirements that your school and more importantly, your major have set. Believe me, it's worth a little bit more work up front. And if you're just a freshman or a sophomore watching this video, I touch on some of this more in my video on how to get an internship as a freshman or a sophomore. So go check that out after this one. Now, number two, ask questions of the intern that was there before you. Now this probably seems like a no brainer, but I failed to do it. I was so caught up in preparing the perfect questions for my boss and trying to impress them that I missed the opportunity to ask questions of the person who used to be in my shoes, the person who was performing the exact same tasks that I was about to perform, the person that had to learn the ropes just like I was about to. Now, you won't always have an opportunity to meet this intern that was there before you, but in a lot of cases, there is a week or two of overlap in between interns. And so if you're so lucky to overlap with the intern before you, I am telling you, ask them questions. Learn as much as you can from their experience before you kick off your own. Number three, keep a daily internship journal. Record your day in the life as an intern. What did you do and what did you learn? What mistakes did you make? Did you meet anyone new and noteworthy? Did you make progress toward a specific goal? Write it all down. I promise you won't be sorry that you did. This is something that I did really well for internships two through four, but I didn't do it for my first internship and I regret it. Keeping a daily internship journal or a log is a great way to really absorb everything that you're learning on a daily basis. Because during an internship, there's a lot of new stuff being thrown your way each and every day. So the ability to go back and reflect on everything that you've learned and captured in this journal, it's so valuable. Plus, it's a great way to remember all of the different people that you've met along the way. Because you never know when one of those people may be the connection that you need into a future internship or job opportunity. Number four, make time for working out. Now, this may not seem like it fits into this video of internship advice, but I'm telling you that it does. The older you get, the more important it is that you're bringing energy to each and every day. It's going to help with your productivity and your focus. And the best way to bring your energy is by moving your body on a daily basis. When you're an intern, make it super caught up in the internship and think that you don't have time to work out. Then all of a sudden, eight to 10 weeks have gone by and you've neglected working out altogether. It happens, believe me. My internship was at a training facility. I trained athletes on a daily basis and I still failed to get my workouts in. Because for me, it was the last thing I wanted to do after spending the entire day in a gym. But I now know how important it is to generate that energy. So start building the habit now and keep it as a priority throughout your internship. Number five, set goals and take on specific projects. It's important that you don't just go through the motions at your internship because you'll blink and just like that, eight weeks will be over and you're gonna be scratching your head wondering what you actually accomplished. You need to aim to build your resume. What types of projects can you take on or skills do you need to develop in order to better your resume for the future? At my first internship, I did have one tangible thing that came from it. 
a certification with USA Weightlifting that I completed, but I could have developed so much more. I didn't take the time to set proper goals and projects with my boss up front. If you're not sure where to start and you want some ideas on goals that you can set up front, check out my video on the internship goals series on how to succeed at your internship. And number six, participate in company events. Oftentimes it's the events outside of your normal working hours where you're going to make the strongest connections with your colleagues. And relationship building is the most important thing that you can do at your internship because it will continue to open doors for you long into the future if you do it right. I wish I would have taken better advantage of the opportunities at my first internship, whether it was showing up at the weekend to participate in a company community service event or staying late to socialize on a Friday, even if I couldn't actually participate in the happy hour drinks. The one event that I actually did participate in outside of my normal internship hours was the USA Weightlifting certification course that I mentioned in the last point, and it's where I wound up meeting the person who would later introduce me to the Chicago Bulls. And, well, that's where my internship journey really started to take off and get interesting. Number seven, podcasts. Now, podcasts weren't really a thing when I was an intern, but audiobooks definitely were, and frankly, I didn't take advantage of them. I had 45 minutes to an hour commute both ways in Chicago traffic to and from my internship, and all I did was listen to the latest hits on the radio. Now, you may be wondering what any of this has to do with an internship and why it's a part of my internship advice, but if you know me, then you know I'm a big believer in educating yourself developing yourself outside of your college education, especially if you have a specific career path in mind or goals to break into a specific industry. You need to educate yourself, absorb as much as you can, research what the top podcasts are for your field of interests, or find the audiobook for the autobiography of someone that you admire in the industry and use the downtime that you have, maybe it's on your commute to and from the internship or on your lunch break, to just soak it all in. Number eight, Stay in touch with people after your internship is over. This is something that I learned later in my internship journey. I did it well with internships two through four, but again, I missed the opportunity with internship number one. I let the relationships that I had built there die. Not intentionally, of course, but I wasn't exactly intentional about keeping them alive either. I've said it before, and I will say it many times over in the future, but you should never underestimate the power of building relationships during your internship. The people that you meet and have the privilege to learn from can continue to open up doors for you and introduce you to the right people going forward. If you do it right and you consistently stay in touch with people, they will become the internship gifts that keep on giving. Best of luck to you as you head into your internship, whether it's your first or your last, I hope you took away some new internship advice from this video today that you can apply to your experience going forward. If you have some internship advice of your own that others could benefit from, please go ahead and leave that in the comments below. If this video gave you some new insights today, please give it a like and share it with a friend or two and hit that red subscribe button below so that you don't miss out on future videos. In support of your hustle, I'll see you next Monday.